All right, this is the Nokia C100 smartphone, the worst reviewed phone I can find. It's a budget device sold through various prepaid carriers and it looks good on the surface. A 5.5 inch HD screen, the latest Android 12 software, a completely sustainable device with Nokia's well-known durability and build quality, all for a really cheap price. But let me tell you, people despise this thing. A quick hop over to the reviews on the device and you'll see basically every problem someone could have. Locking up constantly, glitchy and slow, can't hear calls, Wi-Fi not working, the list goes on. People frantically tell you not to buy the Nokia C100. So armed with this knowledge, I went ahead and bought a Nokia C100. So you don't have to. The unboxing is nothing grand. It comes in a traditional prepaid carrier box. You get the removable and replaceable battery, as well as the easily removable back cover, in addition to your cable, charger, and manuals. So safe to say people's reviews of this phone aren't really good, but what are my thoughts on the device? For one, it is really laggy. Scrolling through the home pages and app menu is okay, but going to the notifications and quick settings, it'll lag. Going to the Google feed, it'll crawl, and trying to open any app, it'll take forever to load. Also, I expected this eight megapixel back camera to be somewhat usable, given the device uses the open source Google camera app, but these images are garbage. When put next to my iPhone 14 Pro, the standard and benchmark for smartphone photography, it's almost as if this thing shouldn't have a camera at all. And yes, this is a comparison between a thousand dollar phone and a thirty dollar phone, but irrespective of what you compare it to, unless it's a 2006 flip phone, this camera is doo-doo. Really, it's only good for features like QR code scanning, translating text, or searching for items using the Google search camera. The screen is as you'd expect for a cheap phone. It's a 720p LCD with crappy colors and non-existent viewing angles, and every color and every object that's on the screen will be so washed out. And then there's performance. Even with this light software, this device can escape being powered by a slow processor. It struggles through the most basic of things, and it even crashed when just trying to open YouTube a couple times. And while Wi-Fi seemed to work okay after I set the thing up, it wouldn't work at all while I was setting it up. All these reviews talking about how this phone is glitchy and slow, I'm gonna have to agree with. There's a lot of stuff I like here, like the design with this textured dark blue back and a compact palm-friendly size. It's got a headphone jack, expandable storage with a micro SD card, and a battery you can replace effortlessly. Nokia is definitely making an effort to design more sustainable phones that you keep for a long time, giving the latest Android software updates as soon as they come out for years. They've got a wide portfolio of devices with 5G, more advanced cameras, and even a new program that rewards you for keeping your phone longer. But for this C100 device, the consensus is clear. Don't buy it even at an attractive $30 price. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below by smashing that like button. And with that, I'm Max. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.